Sis, you done. <laughs> if the set's on point, you are done. back to my youtube channel it is your girl kelly sharice and i am back with another video so as y'all can see i have a special guest it's my girl tills and we are doing a mukbang today y'all okay what we got sis what we got this your chicken the general stuff yeah y'all so we are about to devour this food Yo, and hell hot yeah <laughs> it's steaming too ain't it so y'all, we about to get into some topics, okay? We got to get into some topics. We about to address some things, okay? What's up going on, sis? Nothing, sis. First of all, we need to tell them how we became friends. Like, oh. how we met, how we became friends, how we became so close because it's a story, okay? Y'all, let me tell you, listen. I did not used to like to tell you. I did not used to like to tell you. Let me tell you why. And it really wasn't, it really wasn't anything. It was just because... We was all on Twitter, and Tia is a very beautiful girl. So you know when you see a beautiful girl talking to your man, you just look like, what's going on? So my boyfriend at the time, they was on Twitter, and him and Tia was real like close, you know. And they used to call each. What did what y'all used to say? I used to call him. He used to call him his fly daughter. Yes, he used to call her. No, he used to call him my fly father, my yes, fly dad. Or yes. Look like who is this girl? You know, when I think about it, this came off kind of weird. <laughs> when I think about from her perspective, yeah, I didn't know they were. I don't know, and I, yeah, it was like her, you know, boyfriend at the time was my brother's close friend, yeah, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> you good, sis, but yeah, so that's what it was. But so I was looking like, who is this girl? Like, who is this girl talking about something? First of all, who was he talking about? My fly daughter, and she talking about something. My fly daddy, my fly. Father. I'm like, but so that was that. So she already had rub, rub me the wrong way, y'all. But so then everybody know the real. Mm -hmm. Everybody know. Mm -hmm. Y'all just dropping stuff. <laughs> Jesus, I know I am. So then y'all, I found out my brother was talking to her. Yeah, he told me like him until you talk, and I'm like, okay. Hey, I said, no, you don't. She's like, yes, you do. I'm like, no, you don't. Because I did not believe it. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, I just didn't believe that he talked to her. So I was like, okay, okay, they got some game. Like, let me find out he pulled her. You know what I'm saying? For real, that's how I was saying. Like, let me find out he pulled her. So, um, of course, you know, that day that, um, I mean, her got cool. Like, real cool. Real cool. Like, real cool. It's crazy how we got cool though. I don't mean, good here. It, it is. Girl, mm, number no. one. Mm, 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 mm. Dang, number two. Stop. I ain't good here. I ate real good. Yeah. It's a little burnt. Yours burnt, but it's good. Mm. Wow. I mean, I know it's going to be good. But it's just crazy how we got cool. I think we got cool because we felt like we were dealing with some of the same stuff around the same time. We can mm -hmm. relate. Mm -hmm. So we were just like, Feeding to each other. Mm -hmm. so I'm just okay. I'm told, you know, KJ at the time, I really rock with, you know, mm -hmm. I rock with your sister or whatever. Mm -hmm. What was this, 10 years? Friendship going on 10 years. 10 plus years, yeah. So that's a little background, a little backstory of how me and her met. Basically, I'm so short, she dated my brother for a period of time. And then me and her got close. And then when, when their, you know, relationship ended, me and her continued to be. Like friends, like best friends. Y'all, this food good as hell. It is, ain't it? Y'all, so I like chicken and broccoli. And the general toast on them. So you got, what you got sis? Vegetable egg food, you know? Mm-hmm. And of course, my water. That is a cute water bottle. Show me the water bottle, sis. Mom. Look at that. Who got it for you, sis? Marcus Freeman Fundamentals. That part. <laughs> that part. But anyway, sis. That's a cool. Since we on the topic of friends. Me and Tilly never had a fallen out. <clears throat> We are. Uh, we never had a falling out. No, and we never have a falling out because we are already real with each other from the from the beginning. Mm-hmm. Oh, whatever. Cause you know, you know how sometimes 
if you're not real with your friends at the jump from the beginning, mm -hmm. and then y'all have a little disagreement later on down the line, mm -hmm. then y'all want to let out all y'all been wanting mm -hmm. to let out. Mm -hmm. And then it's a big falling out. That's how falling outs really start. But if you're mm -hmm. real with your friend from the jump, from the beginning, mm -hmm. smooth sailing. Our friends should work literally because there is no jealousy involved. Like, you know how you had those friendships where it'd be like secret animosity within yeah. the friendship or secret like jealousy like had that you you accomplished something that your friend haven't accomplished yet and they telling you congratulations but you can tell by their tone that they don't mean it. Mm -hmm. Friends come and go and you know which ones are here to stay. Mm -hmm. Mama told me plenty of days like Kelly you ain't got no friends or she ain't your friend or sister such, such your friend. And that's another thing. Our moms love like lovers like yep. my mom loves her mm -hmm. her mom loves me it's mm -hmm. just like it's just like we a family for real mm -hmm. it's like she and i don't have a sister i don't have an old sister mm -hmm. and this is really my big sister like that's how she feel like like we got to talk every day you know some friends get mad when talk to me right? right that's annoying that's nothing oh my god why do we have to talk every day uh, in order for our friendship to like i'm dating like i'm dating you <laughs> like you my man or something like oh <laughs> like what <laughs> So since any relationship tips, mm. any relationship tips you have for the people? Man, what have, what have we been working on? We've been working on our patience. Ooh, patience and mm. just sacrifices. Mm. I mean, relationships come with minor sacrifices. You don't gotta sacrifice everything mm -hmm. in this relationship. And yeah. communication too. Cause guys would think you were trying to argue when all you're doing is trying to communicate, but because you coming off, you know, so, so communication is key. Communication is important. I can't stand a nigga. I think I'm trying to push this. I'm trying to express my feelings. <laughs> I swear. Well, that shit pissed me off too. I ain't gonna hold it. Y'all make me mad. And that makes me want to shut out and shut in. You know, I ain't gonna... Right. I ain't gonna talk to you about it. Right, right. I'm walking around with an attitude. Don't try to figure out if you I'm trying to argue. Exactly. I cannot stand that either, sis. <laughs> I swear enough for real, Mark is good for that. You trying to argue. No, I'm not. I'm not trying to argue. Like I'm just trying to like simply express how I feel. Mm -hmm. But you think it's an argument because I'm not I'm not happy, right? You know what I'm saying? Like I don't have a smile mm -hmm. on my face or but it's not an argument, it's just simply expressing how I feel. Yeah. I just need to work on my tone of voice because when I be trying to express stuff, my voice escalates. And mm. my boyfriend, he he done told me about that. <laughs> anyway. Mm. But how you feel about how you feel about your man having friends of the opposite sex? Like, do you allow that? Like, <laughs> how you feel about that? Because I got a lot to talk about that too. Man, it, it, it depends. I feel like when you first get, it's cool because mind you, one of my closest friends is mm -hmm. a guy. Mm -hmm. That's like my big brother. He's, we never had no relationship. But actually that came before you and him though. So how you feel about a new female friend? Oh, a new one? <laughs> oh no, they don't work. Right. Oh, now if it's a new one, it, no, no, right? No. Okay, even if it's old, even know. if it's old, even if it's an old. Okay, we'll start with old. It was an old one. I, I think I carefully observe it. Hmm. I carefully observe. I don't just go all in. I carefully observe how they interact with each other. If I feel like it's flirtatious or anything like that, I pull them to the side. Like, hey, what what y'all had going on before I came? You know, came around. Mm -hmm. I need you to be a hundred percent about it. But usually, you know, female friends that are before you, they're usually like, they're cool. Some the on most territorial. So, yeah, they are. Some on territorial. Some on don't want, don't want their guy friends to. Exactly. Because they're so used to, you know. Mm -hmm. Listen. But my, my boyfriend. Watch it. <laughs> my boyfriend, he have a couple female friends. For the most part, from what I observed so far, they, they cool. They straight. You know, for the most part. But, well, you know, for the most part. I still be keep looking. Your eye open. Keep my eye open. Be looking, observing. Cause that's what I'm gonna do. You know, don't just when he got a female friend, you don't just go straight in for the gun. But like, who was that? Mm -hmm. What y'all had going on? You just just observe mm -hmm. it and study it mm -hmm. real closely. Mm -hmm. Now, if it's after, you know, let me get my take on it. <laughs> I don't think you know me. I took this plate. <laughs> oh, <I'm> hungry. <laughs> me too. Yo, I'm gonna about me. Females are conniving. Okay? Mm -hmm. They're sneaky. They're jealous. They're just 
they're manipul manipulative, they're, they're conniving. So, you want you want to be friends with Ian? Hmm. Look. Hmm. If, and, and even if y'all was cool before the relationship, that's fine. But, I feel like I still need to watch it. Just as long as she don't be on no like, let me come over while Kelly ain't home. You know what I'm saying? Right. Or, or you trying to go over there and stuff when she home alone? Like, no, it's risky. It's very it's, risky. It's, it's, it's risky, From especially if she's single. Do you know I done been, been in that? Cause yes, talking to a guy, had a female, he had a female friend, whatever, that came in, somebody he met, mm -hmm. cut me off, and now they in a relationship. Mm -hmm. So it's like. Mm -hmm. Something like that. Mm -hmm. It happens. I'm saying, I'm not gonna lie. It, it, it can a guy and a girl be friends and it be strictly platonic? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. However, however, y'all, a friend of mine was best friends with a guy for years, and then all of a sudden, in the heat of the moment, things went left. Like they smashed, and. Mm -mm. Mm -hmm. And it's stuff like and it's, it's and he had a girlfriend. Mm -hmm. He had a girlfriend. Who I get hot hearing that? Girl, yes, he had a girlfriend. They were literally best friends for years. The guy and the girl was best friends for years. He had a girlfriend. He came over. To, he came on to the girl, and they and they smashed. Woo! And they smashed. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's why. That's why it. I don't. I don't. I ain't too far, like, not if, if I'm in a relationship with a guy and you all telling me I got a female friend, listen, this is stuff you talk about in the beginning of the relationship. You know what I'm saying? This is stuff you talk about in the beginning of the relationship. Like, such and such is my friend, whatever, whatever, and introduce us. But I feel like you want some sneaky stuff. I can't trust these females. I, I mean, you just, you you just can't. No, I'm good. That's right, you can't eat me, can't you? Right. Like I said, not saying every guy and a girl can't be just strictly friends, but I have known situations where a guy and a girl were just strictly friends and they ended up mm -hmm. You know what to get to my nerves though? It's like when you express issues about like your guy have a female friend or whatever, mm -hmm. a new friend comes in the picture, they want to like come off as if, oh you got, what is it, you're insecure and stuff like that. They didn't want to throw insecurity in my face. I'm like, mm -hmm. look, that ain't what it is. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm just being right. mindful and being conscious of what you got going on because I don't know this chick like right. that. She just popped up out of nowhere. And then another thing is you got to watch how they spend like time together without you, without you being Ooh. crazy. Because that is a no-no. I'm a no-no. <laughs> it, it happened to me. Mm. You know, I look past that. Well, maybe they just, they just friends or whatever like that. You know, I look, I look past it, but then, Things start to get a little weird. And that's nothing. You can't be looking past too many stuff. I'm telling you. You can't ignore the red flags. You can't ignore the red flags. <laughs> Why do you want to ignore the red flags so much? Because we just don't want to face the truth for what it really is. And mm -hmm. we just trying to run away from the truth for what it is. We know it's a bad situation. We know we don't supposed to be in it. Right. But we still keep ignoring the red flags until it blows up. Yep. Then you regret yep. ignoring the red flags. Mm. Then you regret it. Then you sit here hurt. Hurt what about being hurt. Y'all been hurt when you out of town. Oh! <laughs> Y'all, have you ever been hurt? Y'all had to go to work and hurt. Girl, girl. nothing was hurt. We had to go Ooh. to life. Y'all ain't gonna never forget one time. God knows what. <laughs> hurt. You talking about hurt? I'm talking about. I'm talking about. I was working. I was working in a fast food joint, right? And I was working in drive through I was working in drive sis. <laughs> and my shift then was like for the clothes. Shoot. You know, that's the worst shift for if you got a club or shift. So anyway, for the clothes, y'all. I already been fussing with my, my then boyfriend at a time all day and stuff. Long story short, I think we kind of broke up. Y'all, I used to work drive through When I tell you them daggone cars was piling up. Who? <laughs> To take over because I couldn't, I couldn't, y'all couldn't focus. Like my mind, my girl, oh my god, in a good headspace. Boy. That's a bad feeling going to work and you hurt. And then I had a woo arguing with your man. Yeah. I had a nigga cut me off while I was at work. Boy, yeah, I'm missing. 
Listen, no. <laughs> I was in the middle of my shift, he cut me off. I said, you know, you can at least wait till I got off. Right. Wait till I get off work. Wait till I get home. Ain't friend nobody. You know, he didn't care. Cried. You know what I'm saying? Cried alone. This girl. And he knew I was at work. He was cutting off right at work. I'm like, no, but 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 girl, going out of town and you are broken. That's a different type of hurt. Too. Let me say something. You can't even enjoy yourself. You trying to be happy. Enjoy yourself. Trying to girl, trying to be trying to put on a smile, sis. Trying to eat good. You don't really hurt. You can't even eat. Can't even eat. <laughs> we losing pounds by the day. <laughs> Yo, let me tell you something. That ain't no good feeling, girl. I be trying to eat. That's me too. I'll never forget. I had some waffle house. I could not eat that sucker for dinner. Like I was telling you, know, I love me a waffle house. Girl. Right, right. I was so. Her, I said, you know what? I ain't gonna try and eat it. <laughs> I just threw it away. <laughs> Let me tell you something. It's not a good feeling, but thank God for growth. That's no good. Thank God for growth because who? I ain't in that headspace no more. Well, like. We've been through some hurt. You know what? Me and Kelly, we get hurt around the same time. Every time we get hurt around the same time. That's weird. That's time. so weird. Me and Sis went to this washing party. Knowing daggone well, we, we should not have been there, right? We should not have been at this washing party because we both were hurt. I'm talking about we Ooh. both were hurt. But we were looking good we though. We were looking fine. We were looking fine. We were hurt. We know damn well we should not have been at this party. I ain't had no business. As hurt as we were. Should have been somewhere healing. But we <laughs> were right. We were trying to mask it. We was like, first of all, we was encouragement to each other. We was mm -hmm. like, we got to go. Like, this is our time. Like, we got to get out of this house. We've been in this house. Moping and stuff. That's a bad feeling too. Like, when you hurt and you just around moping. You don't want to do nothing for me. Let on catch all day. I put my phone. Do not disturb. Do not disturb. Don't talk to me. You don't even look. Phone be ringing. You be like, who is this girl? Look, you be hoping it's them. It ain't them. I be hot. Girl be going go on social media. Hope they know. Right, right. Watch it like Twitter up. That's like Twitter up. But I act like we good. Yes, but y'all, we went and we literally had a good time. But y'all, when we got home, toxic. Let me tell you how toxic these men are. I posted my picture, you know what I'm saying? That was with Janae Ika, you know that's my girl. She mm -hmm. came out with back on um back on my BS. So that was my caption, boy. I back up on my butt. Mm -hmm. Back up So y'all, I posted it as my caption. Why this man oh, text right. me? Why he text me the next day? He said something. Mind you, we ain't talk, y'all, in like what a month or two. We hadn't even talked. Yeah, we hadn't even talked. He come texting me. Bye. Get bye. Just talk. Who was talking with? And and I'm to my market job for y'all. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he a changed man. Yeah, he a changed man. Mm -hmm. He is a changed man. I don't know what mine. Do you mean. consider yourself jealous? Yes. For real, sis. I'm very, I'm very jealous. It depends on the situation, though. Oh my god! It, give, it me, like, give me an example. Mm, an example, like <laughs> I don't know. Do. They all do to me. You knew I've been jealous though for a minute, though. I ain't know it was like that, though. I, 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 I it's that invest. You know, I love that song, "Jealous" by Beyonce. Yes, that's my, that's my, that's my song right there. But I, I just. Call it being territorial, but go ahead, see. It probably is more than that. But no, tell me, you jealous? Go ahead. I'm listening. I'm listening. Go ahead. You know how, like, okay, you got your boyfriend, your guy, whatever you talk to. Mm hmm. And then let's say you're on Twitter or Facebook or something like that. Mm. And let's say a girl comment, but oh, you look, oh, you looking good, whatever. Who ain't mad? <laughs> you don't feel some type of way. I be like, wait a minute. Who, who, who is this? Who, who is just commenting and, and tweeting you or replying? I get it, it don't be nothing serious. Yeah, it's, it's never nothing serious. It's not like the female being flirtatious or whatever, but it's the fact if I see them holding holding conversation. Yeah, I, I feel some type of way. It look like they hold a good conversation too. Mm -hmm. I get jealous. I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm okay. Whew, I'm having a flashback. <laughs> she's flabbergasted. She's seeing red. <laughs> Cause boy, you had your. Get my water. <laughs> no, I'm just territorial though. I'm real. I'm very territorial. Who do you think worse, me or you? I think you worse. You think I am? I don't know. Since you might be worse. No. Shit, Mika worse. Mika. Mika worse than all of us. But no, I don't know. Like I'm real. I want to say I'm low key about like about mine, but because I'm going to express how I feel. But I don't know. I be. 
when I said low key, I mean like I'm gonna sit back and watch and let it play out and see how you know what I'm saying, like mm -hmm. see how it how it how it end. And then I'm gonna say something because you say something too soon. That's just like announcing something prematurely. When you say something too soon and it ain't played all the way out yet, you can mess it up. You see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like, see, sis always be able to play the cards. Right? Yes, I play my sis cards play them. right. Do see, you I'm mean? impatient. I just be ready to go at it. Cause play, I had to hit her. I'm like, look, sis, this don't happen. What? <laughs> I'm about to say this. You kill my like, don't don't say nothing. Don't yet. say nothing yet. Just just wait. Just, just let's wait. Play yep, out. yep. I'm impatient. She had more patience than me when it comes to stuff. I'd be ready to just go and get it over. Like, what's up? What's up? Yep, what's going yep. On? That's but, true. Hey, what 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 it do? What is it? <laughs> that's that's true. That I'll be ready to cut a nigga off. That's very true. <laughs> that is very true. No, for real though. Like, I don't know. I just always know that. Like, I'm not. I hate being confrontational. Mm-hmm. I'm not a confrontational person. Like, I'm just not that type of girl. So like I always want to just like proceed with caution. There has been time where I just be like, don't think it, just do it, yes. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, but sis, you already know we've been single for a minute, though. Mm. Like y'all, we've been single for a minute. Yes. I think my last relationship, which was very, very, very short term, yes. it was like. Oh God. 2018, that was my last relationship. Oh, and Two I think months. I think before before Marcus and I, I was single for a long time too. Like yes. I was single for a long time, y'all. And in my single season, oh my God, what was I doing? Single, since you really. I was chilling. chilling. Yeah, she I was, was really, chilling. Sis was really chilling. She I was, was laid chilling. back. Mm -hmm. She wasn't really talking to a lot of people. Nope. My single season, I was just, I was chilling for the most part too. Mm -hmm. I had, you know, a couple guys because you, you talked to yep. during that time. That's about it. And that's, and that's, and I feel like that's like when people are single, they feel like, you know, they got to be to themselves or whatever, whatever. But if you want to have a friend, have a friend. Have a friend. Have that's a friend. That's the only way you're going to find out who is for you and who mm -hmm. is not for you. Like, it's okay to have a friend, like, or have multiple guy friends if that's what you want to do. Now, not saying you have to sleep with all of them. Right. Because that's, that's, we, we ain't doing that. We ain't on that kind of time. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, if you want to have a friend, have a friend. Like, it's nothing wrong with having a friend at all. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. guys do it. So why can't we do it as women? You know what? Guys have them. They, niggas, they have it stacked up. They have them stacked up they and they be sitting stacked. with all their friends. See, that's the difference. We don't see <laughs> But yo, when I was single, I was just chilling. Sis was just patient. She was just yeah. waiting. She ain't really let a lot of people in. Uh-uh. At all. Mm -mm. At all. You can chill, but this ain't nothing wrong with dating. You know, I went on a couple dates or whatever. Mm-hmm. Trying to figure it out. Give somebody a chance, but... Could you take a man back if he cheated on you? I mean, I, I did it before. <laughs> so, I don't know. I did it before. <laughs> but, but you know what? I hate though. Like, where do it? Like, why do we take a man back that she don't listen? Why? I don't know. It's like, part of us being Because cheating is the ultimate disrespect, yo. It is. I probably won't do it now. Now, back then, I, you know, when I was like, yeah, younger, I probably ain't gonna tolerate it now. But, I but right right now, if my guy was a cheat right now, oh, if I know done, it, though, mm -mm. You, you, you done. Mm -mm. But why yeah. do we take them back, though, when they cheat them? I feel like cheating is, like, the ultimate disrespect. Yeah. Besides, like, physically putting your hands on me, but, like, you cheating on me, you, you giving somebody else a part of you that you didn't gave me. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Resentment. Beyonce. <laughs> <laughs> she was sick of that song. I'm sorry. Yo. No, for real. Like, you really doing what you doing with this person. And you doing the same thing. Like, to me. To me, that just seems like you don't give a dag on about me. Mm -mm. And I don't know how I feel about it. I think we take it back because a part of us is still... Vulnerable. Mm. We just vulnerable. We just like, dang, he cheated, but I, you know, maybe things would change. Mm. And, That's, you and know I what? think it's the thought of somebody else being with him too. Yeah, the thought of him like being with somebody else that kind of allows us to. Have you ever say like I want now? I can say I can honestly say this like with Jaquel there. Mind you, I used to hear stories, you know, him doing this, him doing that, but I never call him. 
Mm -hmm. I never caught him. That's another thing too. Like you can hear stories because some people now, some people really tell you something mm -hmm. just so you can break up with your. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they, you really do have some bitter people out here. So like, Jaquel dad, he was like popular or whatever at the time. He was popular, mm -hmm. and like people used to come to me tell me stuff like he doing this, he doing that, yada yada. yada. And I was real gullible back then, y'all. I was so gullible. Do you hear me? Gullible. So like I ain't believe it, you know what I'm saying? But when I found out for it to be true, I left. Mm -hmm. And then you look back. Sis always been like that though. When, yeah. when I was sis gone, I'm gone. It said me, I <laughs> <laughs> I talk all that talk and still <laughs> trying to find a way to ease back. Trying to find a way. No, for real though, that's <laughs> like sometimes, you know, I, I'm about to say that's love. I mean, if you do love your if you love your dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, if the relationship, I don't know, man. I don't know, sis. That is, it's tricky. Like, it to is. stay after you've been humiliated. Now, it's, I do know of some relationships where the partner cheated and he, she took him back or he <laughs> took her back or whatever, you know, vice versa. Why can't men, they can't take what they did up. We can take it. But men can't take what they dish out. Like, no, we, we if they cheat on us, they expect us to take them back. But let us do it. Boy. Let us do it. It's World War Three, Baby, about to. Can't do it. <laughs> they want to shoot up the block. Everything. <laughs> shoot us. And, like, no. Like, why is that? Like, take it. You, I had to take it. I had to take it to the chin. So you need to take it to the chin. Exactly. You believe in get back? Get back. Revenge. Not too much. I, I don't really. Yeah, what's the point? You ever cheated? <laughs> <laughs> what's cheating? Define cheating. Um, I guess like people think like texting another person is no, cheating or not. what's cheating though? Like what's I think when when you go like have sex with somebody else. So is that the only way you could cheat just by having sex? Because that's the case. No. I've never been in a relationship with a guy and had sex with another guy. Or, I've never yeah. Done that. Or some people consider cheating like you entertaining somebody else on a flirtation level. Mm, but haven't had sex with them, but you just mm -hmm. flirted with them. Like, mm -hmm. oh. like you're talking. It's like it's like you, you're talking to somebody else while you're in a relationship. Yeah. Kind of, yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. I see. You said like I mean I have other friends, other guy friends like. Not now, I don't. But like I've had, like in the past, yeah. Like I think we all have a past. Mm -hmm. For one, we all have a past, and and then when we're young, I think when we're young, yes, young and dumb. Young, you know what I'm saying? Dumb. Like just having fun. Like you don't. I feel like when you're young, like you don't know. You just don't know if the person you're with is gonna be who you know. what I'm saying you end up with. Like you just don't know, especially if the relationship was already rocky anyway. You just mm -hmm. don't know. But uh, I don't I've never cheated though. I'm not even a cheating type of girl. Like I'm a I'm literally a relationship girl. Mm -hmm. I'm a relationship person. Like yes, I wanna do all the cute and fun things. I wanna do the family things. Like I'm very family oh, oriented. You yes. are based off the vibe. Yes. I'm very, very family oriented. Like, no, I don't are you the shit you want that shit too, girl too, right, sis? Yeah, well, yeah, really. I always been like that. I always believed in love and relationships and family. I can't stand things. those people that act like relationships is just the worst thing. Like, oh I don't want no relationship. Like who hurt you? Who hurt you? Like, who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Who hurt you? Of me. Like what did they do? Like what happened? Yeah, like what to talk about? It. I don't understand it. Like what's the worst that can? Happen? I mean, of course you were being vulnerable. You let your guard down, but you just gotta know how much to give a person. Like mm -hmm. don't overshare. Like if that's your worry, don't overshare too soon. Like I know for me, I ain't about to let my guard down as soon as I get uh, in that relationship. No, I gotta figure you no. out. I gotta know who you are. I just gotta just, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Like see you. And that's why too you can't always include sex in the beginning because sex cloud your your vision yes sex will cloud your vision no. especially okay. if it's on point boy you be you what? done for <laughs> sex you done <laughs> if the sex on point you are done you can't you don't care about nothing you don't care about no red flag okay when you're in a relationship how long do you are you willing to wait for a guy to propose like what's your do you have a limit some some people don't have a limit but do you have a limit on on that 
I feel like, I feel like it don't take a guy long to know when he want to marry you. Mm. Now, 10 years in the relationship and we ain't married, something ain't right. You, you just, just going with the flow. You like playing house at that point. Yeah, like, it's you like. Just, just playing. Uh-uh, we gotta, we, it gotta be a goal. Cause if, we, if, we, if there's no goal, you just string me along. You got about four, four, <laughs> damn, <laughs> four or five years. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> <laughs> you got about four. No, you feel how you feel though? Like, I mean, back then it was different. Now, when I was younger, you know, mm -hmm. it, it was different. But at right, this age, we ain't getting no younger. I'm 27 mm -hmm. and I want to have a family and have kids someday. Mm -hmm. And everything. I want to wait till I'm doggone near forty to get married. Cause then I'm like, you know, mm -hmm. I think about stuff like that. But I don't want to pressure nobody into it either. So I think at least in a four to five year time frame, it at least needs to be mentioned. Mm -hmm. At least mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say you got pop ring within that time frame, but it at least need to be mentioned. I, at least you know that's where your headspace is. Because first of all, I want no choppy engagement. <laughs> I mean proposal. Right. I want right. a chocolate proposal. Right. So you gotta at least mention it and plan it. You know, so no put a label. It gotta at least be mentioned. Y'all, this generation, they ain't in this generation suck. So that's all single so dog on along. Sucks, y'all. It literally sucks because no, like everything is for social media. Everything. Like people are not even real on social media anymore. Everything's a flex. I mean, some people do have some genuine relationships, but it seems like the ones that are very genuine are the ones that are very low key. Yes, those are the most genuine relationships you can yes. ever see in your life, where you ain't got know everything about what they got going like, on. Like I don't have to post my dude every day, and I may do it every night, but I do not post like yeah, every Monday. Yeah, me and Crush Month. Like no, uh, like no, like I get annoyed with myself if I did that. Like no, it's these social media relationships be so. Fate, y'all. It be and then and then what kill me is when they break up and then they want to go on a rant and tell everybody now how that shit was so terrible. Like don't do that because you was just up there trying to act like your man was the best man That's in the world. Thing that gets my nerves. It's somebody that try to flex on me. After you know you with a guy and they yeah. try to flex on you like you ain't, you won't hit no yeah. man like you ain't yeah. make them feel how they yeah. feel. They want to. Let me see. I'm gonna get started. <laughs> But um, no, yeah, don't flex on me. No, don't flex on me, honey. I'm the wrong mother to flex on, okay? Because we all know that part. Let's go for friends, anything like, and that's no, ooh, girl, how about them friends that soon as shit over with, and like you was like the worst friend. Let me tell you something. I done been there, done that. I'm like, now I'm the worst friend. Now I ain't your friend because we like. So we had a disagreement. Because we had a disagreement. Now I'm just the worst friend ever. Like what? How does that even make it make sense? Make it make sense. Like, I can't stand it either. Like, don't flex on me. Like, I'm just the worst That's person ever. My thing is, if you want to go separate ways with somebody, go separate ways. But you don't got to sit here and leave off all the negative stuff and try to down me as a person. If you want to move on, move on. And then when I see you out, we can speak. Keep it moving. But when you got to, like, flex and try to down me as a human being want to say oh well you want this type of friend you want that type of friend okay if i was such a bad friend why you stay friends with me so long exactly so it's like exactly you know y'all if people do not like how to just move on you don't want to be with somebody relationships all that move on why move you not on. down a person like it's move it's no on. need you know because i move on and i'm tight like when i wash my hands i'm done there's no uh-uh, I'm, I'm done. Like, I'm washing my hands with you, and I'm wish you the best from afar. But, like, I'm not going to also, I'm not, I'm also not going to keep, like, bring you up or, you know what I'm saying? Like, just talk, because, yeah. what, what's the point? What, what, what's the point? I moved on with myself. This is how you know you are a good person. When they're trying to come back, when they're trying to re-enter your life. That's how you know you real. That's how you know you popping, though. Humbly. I'm very humble. I can really pop my sh but I'm very humble. I'm, I'm serious, like... It's so, it's so many men since I ain't even watched like a magazine. Woo! Like girls these days, they in competition. They in competition with each other. Like, why are competing. we in competition? Why are we competing? Like, and it's your friends. It's you in this friend. You got a friend that's competing with you. You need to reconsider your cycle a little bit. Mm -hmm. And it's, they make it so obvious though. And sometimes, I think it's, we were talking about red flags earlier, but we be ignoring red flags and friendships too. Though. Yes. Yes, a lot. Yes, I think 
I think breaking up, like having a friendship breakup is probably one of the worst. Breakups. Yes. I feel yes. like that hurts. Friendship more. breakups are harder than men um, break up. And I say that because you got a friend that you trusted. You know what I'm saying? Like you literally told all your secrets to. You know, just told things, mm -hmm. certain things that nobody knows that you expect this person to take to the grave. Sometimes we can tell our friend things that we can't tell our man. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, like, you had this friend, like, you told everything to, and then when that relationship, like, just all of a sudden fall apart, it hurt. It does. It does. It hurt. And you just be like, dang, like, I, I remember I told this person. And then now you got to wonder if this person can go tell all your secrets. If they yeah. Go, but... That's what I'm saying. Like, I ain't got to worry about that. <laughs> so, do you think you can change your man? No. You think, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> I can't. I <laughs> try. <laughs> I can't. You, you don't think you can change your man, sis? I don't know. Yeah, men can change. But, like, I feel like it's always been in them, though. They know. Like, if a man, like, has the potential to be, like, a great man, treat a woman like she deserves to be treated, mm -hmm. it's always been there. But they just need the right person to kind of, like, bring it out. Bring it out of them. Mm -hmm. So, a man can change now. I'm telling you. Well, what make a man change, though? When what, they lose what, that person, when they know that person gone. Like, mm. when they take that person for granted, <laughs> and then that person is just like, you know what, um... I'm done, mm -hmm. or whatever. They walk away, then they're like, oh man, she really gone. So they, they change up and switch, you know, how they used to be just so they can keep that person. I think that's one way a man can change. And mm, if they know they're about to lose that person, mm -hmm. it goes the same with women too. You know, some men can change, you know, they can change a woman. You never know. Yeah, yeah. You know, I'm more than think we like, just, just hate niggas. No, 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 no. I don't hate me. I really don't know. I don't hate men, but um, there's some, there's some good men. It's some good men out here. Yeah, that has the potential. Yes, they, yes. They, they have it, but it's just they they just stuck. Mm. They just stuck. They don't like want to come out their comfort zone. Mhm, mm mhm. Mm but some it's crazy how some people. I can see some people like tweet. They just want to be like yeah. single for the rest of their lives. Like they don't want. No type of women. I don't understand what type of No beards or people. Women, whatever. I, like I said, I am a relationship girl. I want to be married. I definitely love my relationship that I'm in now. want to eventually marry him. Yeah. So, like, I don't want this. I just can't be doing the linking up for all my life or just the. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. that ain't I can't just do that like all for the rest of my life. Like no. I feel yeah, I feel like some people that want to be single, that's I don't think that's wrong. I take it back. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But it's just I don't like the people that just downplay relationships. relationships. Yeah. Like, they just downplay relationships and they yeah. see somebody else in a relationship and they just be negative on it. Like, why? Like what's, what's yeah. the point? You know, I hate I hate people. That's Twitter. They mm. they they're good for it. They will downplay something. How do you feel when I first started dating your brother? I always wondered it. Like you and Mika. I feel like Mika was more protective than you. Were y'all real protective? I just was trying to figure out who you were. Like who was this? Like I said earlier, like I was trying to figure out like who you were because like I said, you were already that whole situation. I'm just like, you know what I'm saying? Like looking side eye, but um I was honestly happy for KJ. Like oh. for him to find somebody. You know what I'm saying? I was honestly happy, and then he just we just blossomed, girl. We just blossomed, like mm -hmm. it's just crazy how that worked out. That me and you were still here, and for those of you who don't know, she is the god mommy of my last two boys. So <laughs> yes, no, for real, like that's 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 big, and that's big. And you see, she come on a daily, like she don't miss. Yeah. Not on, I'm talking about on a daily. <laughs> She come often, that's what I meant to say. She come yeah. often, she don't miss a beat. She not one of those guy moms that be like, you know, I'm I'm the big guy mom just because it's cute. Like, she literally do buy them things and, you know, stuff like that. So, yes, I love both of them. Josh and James. Yes, check on them. She does, she come see them. So, she's a great guy mom. Thank you. But yes, y'all, so that wraps it up for this video. So make sure you give it a thumbs up. Follow my girl on Instagram. What's your Instagram, sis? Beehive member. I will put it down below. Do not forget to subscribe if you are new. Comment down below. And I will see you guys in this video. Bye. <laughs>